So it's pretty cold out and I don't want to crack the door to run the extension cord from the solar. So this uh, Jackery will actually power my compressor, which is pretty surprising. good friend Arch was here helping me this trip so we got him set up outside to install shingles and then I went inside and worked on the battery venting all right so I made that box for my batteries and I need to vent it to the outside so we're gonna do that now it's been over a year so the safety police can bust me for that but we're fixing it now all right we're gonna try and come through right here good all right so there's our battery bank and there's our hole right there came out perfect spot now we're gonna drill our hole for this Good. We didn't stab through our battery. <laughs> we got some pipe here. Our 90 Street, and we'll go over like that. So I need one, maybe five inches long. So we'll cut this. much glue okay so now this piece will go like this so six and a quarter
So we've got some, got some silicone coke. Could probably call this good but I got a little fan and I'm gonna put this fan right here and make it trigger based on battery voltage so let's make it a little more complicated than it needs to be all right so I got this little flexi thing this thing comes in real handy here I've got a voltage sensing controller that I can use on either 12 or 24 volts and there's a little jumper so 12 volt on 24 volt off so I just remove this little jumper I've got relay and a relay is I'm sure this is wrong but the way I see it is a relay is a switch that can be controlled electronically so you can turn something on or off without flipping the switch this thing does it for you based on the battery voltage and so what will happen is I'll, I'll make the set point of this come on when the batteries maybe when they're in bulk and absorb maybe when they're in float too can't hurt this, this fan barely draws any power so we will, let's wire this up now. I'm thinking we want a one amp fuse and I, the lowest I can go on my fuse block is two amps. So we're gonna run it off of this. I've got the fuse pulled out of this right now. So that's our battery positive. Battery negative. Okay. It's got our battery positive, negative, hooked up. Okay, so on our relay, it says control negative, control positive, and then output is over here so this would connect over to here and this would connect to our fan okay, relay negative wire Relay negative is hooked up. And so the, uh, the outputs here say relay and the inputs here say control. All right, so I'm running my positive wires through the relay. Shit. I'm gonna touch this to a power source. Fan should come on. And it does. Alright. Let's put a little fuse in here. A little one amp. It's over 26. Because I'm in absorption. So I'm at like 29.5 volts. Focus on that. Let's see if it goes off when I drop 
turn off all the solar. Just testing it, see if it turns off. It's going. I'm waiting for the voltage to drop to see if this thing turns off when it gets under 26 volts. I mean, the voltage is just lagging because we were in absorption. I just turned off all the solar. I don't, if you can see this LCD, it's just slowly dropping. And uh, I don't, there wasn't any really any instructions with this. Like, I don't know what these like switch symbols mean. I'm assuming that that means off. We should hopefully see the little light on the relay turn off. All right. Hey, it worked. Well, the relay light went off. Hey, do you remember that relay that I showed you? I forget how to wire it. So the LED is turning off, but the fan is still going. Do you think I have the plus and minus backwards? Okay. I'll try that. Let's see if that works. Alright. I'll call you back. Okay. It's off. That's Let's good. Flip. Let's flip our solar on. And then we should see our voltage jump. Okay, solar's on. As the voltage rises, when it hits 26, the fan should come on. Yay! Alright, let's turn the solar off and see if it comes off. Oh wait, we dropped. Okay, there we go. Yeah, it works. So basically if we're in float, the fan comes on. And it's back on. So I don't know if there's enough gassing to warrant it being on in float, but I'll leave it set like this for a while and then I can always adjust it later. Before anyone freaks out, all these wires that are tapped off the terminals are all stuff that's supposed to be there. One's my temperature sensor. I mean, I know there's wires there, but they all need to be in there. Okay, so now my batteries are enclosed and they're passively vented um, and then when the voltage rises when it's charging which is when it makes gas um, then it's actively vented by the fan um, passive is probably fine but I thought that would be kind of neat and fun project I, I want to get into automation like I'm gonna use a linear actuator to open a um, louver for the whole house fan eventually and I'll probably eventually have that trigger based on temperature differential inside outside so this is kind of practice for that okay thanks for watching and sorry about the controversial lead isn't dead clickbait caption this had nothing to do with that